do. Oopsie. And oopsie. Aaron here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So it is a Friday morning, well almost afternoon, we're getting kind of a late start. That's kind of been the uh, new morning routine or the new normal if you will with baby Maxwell on our hands but we wouldn't have it any other way. Needless to say today I am going with Dusty for a day at the lake. We're going to bring you guys along and give you a few glimpses into our daily life on the go. What are you dreaming about bud? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Look how strong time. you're getting, bud. Oh my gosh. Look at those vegans. So we've got a cabinet full of teas. Something I've been loving lately is this women's nursing support. It's got fennel, fenugreek, all kinds of other great herbs and things like that in it for uh, breast milk supply. Nettle leaf is another great one. Raspberry leaf. Um, so many good ones. So those, those are some of my favorites and I never leave home without them because it's been cold lately. You ready yeah, to hit it? We are. Hey Bo. Is Bo coming with? Yep. Oh goody. So the whole fam. Fast fruit is seriously all you need. It's like all we eat when we're on the go because it's pre-packaged. Nature kind of planned it that way. So I've got a bowl full of bananas and berries. I've got bananas, apples, oranges. Also gonna bring some of our steel cut oats. We actually put a scoop of Sun Warrior protein in it after it cooked up. Made it really delicious and torn up dates to sweeten it. Of course, last but not least, fantastically delicious green smoothie. On the bottom, we've got our healthy chia, our protein. We've got some greens smushed down in there, some pineapple, green apple. I'm gonna add in some frozen mango to give it a little thickness and extra sweetness, and we will be good to go. Whole family saddled up for a day's delay. <laughs> On our way out, this is my dream. You watching after your bro? Good pup. We're there, man. You ready, bud? This is Bo's favorite place. Look at all the geese out there. So I definitely don't travel light. We don't travel light. <laughs> Seriously, it's so crazy. This has been the baby bag I'm using, by the way. It's by Matt and Nat. They make all vegan leather handbags, backpacks, totes, you name it. Absolutely obsessed with that. It has everything that we need for just a quick day trip. And let's check in on baby. I seriously miss him whenever I'm not holding him. <laughs> Laundry time. Hey Stinker. Just finished my green smoothie and I'm going to give you guys a quick tour. Like I said, if you're interested in staying here, we do have the Airbnb link below. We've got guests coming this weekend. They're actually showing up in a couple hours. So we've got a lot to do. I might get a little blog work done on my computer and it's sounding like little Max is probably going to need to eat shortly. <laughs> so this is like the main living room area. We've got a nice TV and fireplace in there. Bathroom in here. Big walk-in shower for after you come in from the hot tub or the lake. You're gonna lead the way, Bo? Queen size luxury air mattresses. This is the main living room out back. And this is actually where we had our one day eat, move, rest wellness retreats that we've hosted the past two years. Hopefully we'll do another one. And look at all those geese. This is definitely a great place to connect with nature. There's a bridge that you can walk over to a little island. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> Look at Bo. <laughs> Life is changing rapidly. <laughs> All for the better though, you guys. We absolutely love parenthood. It's incredible. We don't even know what we would do without Max now that he's here. <laughs> so it's been just a little bit. I've had some uninterrupted computer time. So I'm working on this blog post and I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what I've got. You know me. Berries, bananas, always my favorite. So I always bring these light my fire utensils with me. We have a whole bunch of them at home. They are amazing. There's Big Max. 
on the Lightroom getting edited. This is probably about 300 or 350 calories, so never underestimate fruit. Super good, nourishing, fueling, high in antioxidants, tastes delicious. And of course, watching some Friends reruns. Kicking it old school with the tea kettle. Well, that concludes our day at the lake. Just eating on about four bananas between the two of us. Snacking on some bananas. The best, ripest, and sweetest bananas. And Bo, hey bud. My grandma and grandpa had 10 kids. They had seven of their own consecutively year after year for seven years. The last baby was a stillborn. My grandma went a full nine months, full term pregnancy and had a stillborn and that was really rough for them. Then they were afraid to have kids again. So what they ended up doing was adopting another baby girl. And then after that, they wanted to adopt again and ended up with triplets. <laughs> so four extra kids, 10 kids. My dad grew up in a big family and we've got tons of cousins. Sometimes with the grandparents, you just have to be super present in the moment and just, they've got so many stories to share. <laughs> Parenthood is so much fun. It's amazing, we love it. It feels so natural and just, we're just pleasantly surprised. Bring on, <laughs> I say bring on 10. <laughs> I don't well, know where we'll fit them. I say a dozen then. We might as well go for the full dozen. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> so I just stopped at our local grocery store to get some meatless meatballs. Dusty would love those. And I actually came to get some kombucha, which we don't normally drink. It kind of sounded like fun tonight. I was like, let's have some kombucha. So that's what we're doing. So just stopped at Russ's Market. Definitely not a Whole Foods, <laughs> not our first choice of a grocery store to go to, but it's right across the way from our house. Neither of us are drinking. I haven't drank in over nine months, but we wanted something bubbly. So we're having kombucha, that, and then the vegetarian no options were limited, but Dusty yes. is always talking about spaghetti and meatballs, so. I found vegan meatballs. Thanks, babe. <laughs> we just recently found out about this stuff called TVP, textured vegetable protein, and that's actually what's in here. So three meatballs contains 14 grams of protein. That's, that's pretty legit. legit. You, like, you liking the sound of that? They've also got pea protein and a bunch of spices and stuff. And yeah, yeah, they're processed, but it's a Friday night and they're pretty clean, honestly. So we're gonna give them a go. So we got strawberry synergy and, or wait, strawberry serenity and gingerberry. So we're gonna crack these bad boys open. I just fed Max. Not totally sure what the rules are with kombucha and breastfeeding. As far as I know from my research, it's safe. And just to be extra safe, like I said, I fed him before I'm drinking it. So let me know in the comments below what your guys' thoughts are. I don't think this is going to be a regular thing because it's just kind of a sugary beverage. But I don't know. We're going to give it a go. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning, and today, Channel 8 News, our local news station, is coming to our house for a visit. They're doing a story on, I think it's called Lincoln's Healthiest Couple or Lincoln's Fittest Couple. I don't know if anyone will have any qualms with that, but we're going to do our best to prove them right. <laughs> Make a green smoothie, and the wonderful Hubs is busy spit shining the refrigerator and all of our appliances because our house is typically a mess these days with baby Max and the melting snow. It's been a bit muddy, but anyways, we are doing our best to not look sleep deprived because it wasn't the greatest night of sleep last night, but that's totally okay. We're going to make it work. And if anything, it'll be more relatable now because we have a baby. It's not just Dusty and I living this you know, dreamy, perfect life. So <laughs> it's real life, baby, but we're still doing it to our best. Hopefully we'll get a couple shots while they're here and we will let you guys know how it goes afterwards. The Lincoln couple is gaining fame on social media with their plant-based lifestyle. They're sharing tips, recipes, workouts, and even coaching others. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Miner has the story. Starting the day off with a green smoothie is part of Aaron Stanzik's normal routine. The blogger, health coach, and new mom has a lot on her plate, 
but she still makes her health a top priority. With a passion for healthy living and helping others, Erin decided to start sharing her plant-based life on social media and quickly gained a following. I came up with the idea of eat, move, rest because it was kind of on the premise that there are three things we all do every day, but we could all be doing them better, eat, move, and rest. I'm like, how can I convince these guys that this is something good, that this is something sustainable because I personally thought that I was going to shrivel up and die and I'm actually stronger, fitter, healthier, I feel better than I, like I said, I did when I was 20. The couple knows a plant-based lifestyle isn't for everyone. Realize that Eat, Move, Rest is all about finding your own best version of doing those three things. They're showing us we could all be a little healthier by eating, moving, and resting. <laughs> Um, this is a continuation of yesterday's video because we didn't end up doing a full day of what I eat. We kind of just lost steam at dinner time. We sapped on our kombucha and just kind of chilled out, which is totally cool. What did we end up eating? Oh, Dusty made pasta. Actually, yeah, I forgot. We did those Gardein meatballs. All right, since we forgot to show you guys the meatball pasta medley last night, I'm going to eat it as leftovers tonight and show you these bad boys. I went ahead and cooked them up in a red sauce and they are so legit. These are made by Gardein. They look like serious real meatballs. They taste like meatballs. They're just to die for. So we highly recommend these Gardein meatballs. And it looks like Bo is also hungry. He's getting his vegan dinner, V-Dog food. Go to vdog.com. You can actually check the link in our bio. Uh-oh. Hi, Bubba. Are you going to give us any smiles? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was a little smile. Look at you. You're so happy, aren't you? Baby's first bath. Look how slick this thing is. Magnetic. Pops right into the sink. We're gonna use our Dr. Bronner's baby soap and give Max his first bubble bath. It's a fresh, clean baby. <laughs> you sure loved it. Hi, little Maxwell. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> Who are you? Isaiah. Isaiah. Is this Max's only cousin? Yes. Yeah. So, so far. Folks, we, we gathered here to celebrate greatest occasion in the life of this little heathen, this little, <laughs> this little pagan you are presenting to the church. So the life that you've given Maxwell is finite, and love gives nothing that's finite. And it's mortal, and it grows old, and it gets sick, and it dies, and you will not accept that. You have come to witness this baby be offered up for adoption, in case you didn't know that. It sounds a bit shocking in the ear, right? Are you in? Are you still in? Okay. Uh, so Moses' mother, if you remember the story, she places him in a basket and he floats in the river Nile. She has to let go of him. And so the princess, as the plan works, uh, draws him to herself. And she named him Moses, and the word means saved by water. See the baptismal reference? The princess is not lactating. She can't raise the child. So she finds, she calls for a wet nurse, and who should be presented to her? Moses' his own mother. So Moses' mother goes home with him that day, but he's no longer her son, he's the son of the king. And this is precisely what takes place in this baptism. 
So this is a wonderful day and it's possible only because he becomes inserted into the dynamic of Jesus Christ. Max Voloch. Ed in virtù del Spirito Santo, you share this our book, Plasma today, Max Voloch. Epeta, which means be open. Ego tu nino olio salutis. In Cristo Jesu Domino Nostro. Amen. Thank you for your collaboration. Maxwell Ocean. Ego te baptizo. In nomine Patris. Et Fili. Et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. The lasting life. Amen. Peace be with you. And as today he gladdens our home, so may he one day gladden the eternal home which we pray may be his forever and ever. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a brand new Christian, Maxwell Ocean. <laughs> God bless you. Congratulations. He did great. <laughs>